everyone. Welcome to Why Waiting Series, and thank you so much for joining me today. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'd like to introduce the Fikaya Adeninka Mentoring Program. This year, I'll be giving more opportunities for people to sign on to have personal mentoring sessions with me. So I'm giving you an opportunity if you're interested in being part of this paid mentoring program. Do send me an email and I will respond to you and tell you more about it. Welcome back. Now, still talking about the new year, the new season, the year 2022, I would still like to encourage us by speaking on what I've titled, Embrace Your New Season. I'd like to remind us of a man in 2 Kings chapter 7 who refused to embrace the change in season and missed out. Now, when you're entering into a new season, you have to believe it in your heart. You have to receive the word of God then you begin to see it. Sometimes you don't see a sudden change. It starts from within. So as you get into this year, I want you to have a change of heart, a change of mind, and just see yourself entering into a new dispensation indeed in Jesus' name. Let's have a look at 2 Kings 7. The Bible says, Elisha replied, listen to this message from the Lord. This is what the Lord says. By this time tomorrow, in the market of Samaria, Six quarts of choice flour will cost only a piece of silver, and 12 quarts of barley grain will cost only a piece of silver. Verses 2. The officer assisting the king said to the man of God, That couldn't happen, even if the Lord opens the windows of heaven. I want to encourage us. Let us be careful of how we speak and make declarations, especially when the word of God comes forth. Now, I'm not just referring to prophecies that will come your way this year. I'm referring to the Word of God. You will have to, you would have, you would consistently sit with the Word of God this year while studying, while meditating. The Word of God will come alive to you. The Word of God is the prophecies. We are, it's, 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 it's the truth. It's our life. They are prophecies. They are words spoken to us by God. So, when you see the Word of God, the first thing you must do is to receive it. Do not analyze. Do not try and un understand. Yeah, it's good to understand the word. But what I'm trying to say is this. Now, look at the declaration this man made. Even if the Lord opens the window of heavens, it can happen. Now, if you read further, you know, you can find out what, okay, now, Elisha told him, you will see it happen with your own eyes, but you won't be able to eat any of it. And that's exactly what happened to this man. The Bible says in, um, if you go to, I think, verse 17, so everything happened exactly as the man of God had predicted when the king came to his house. The man of God said to this king, by this time tomorrow, in the markets of Samaria, you know, let me just go down again, 19. The Bible says, and it was so, the people trampled him to death at the gate. What am I trying to say? There's been a change in season. The Lord has brought prosperity. The Lord has brought change. But this man refused to embrace and accept it. And that is why in one of the first videos I posted this year, I talked about ensuring that you consistently renew your mind, keep working on your soul, keep prospering your soul on a daily basis so that when the prophecies come, so that when the word of God comes to you this year, so that when you listen to messages from your local churches, from channels like this, you will be able to embrace it. Now, your change in season starts from within. And that is why I'm leaving you with another scripture, Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. It says, Do not earnestly remember the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, that means look, that means see. I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do not perceive and do you not perceive and know it. We will not give heed to it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, as we enter into this year, I want to remind you once again of the instructions we have in Philippians 4 8. The message translation says, I'll say you'll do your best to fill your minds. All right? That's working on the soul. Fill your mind and meditate on things true, noble, reputable authentic, compelling, gracious, the best and not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. That should be our outlook. That should be our pursuit this year, 2022. It is important. You know that the seasons have changed. You start by accepting it in your heart. 
you start by meditating on it and refusing to doubt and confess like we've seen in the book of second kings 17 and i pray that the lord will strengthen us the lord will en en enable us to live as we should and the promises in second peter 5 10 will be our portions this year that after we've suffered a little while the god of all grace who impacts his blessings and favor who has called us to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus. He will complete you in the name of Jesus. He will make you what you ought to be. He will establish you. He will ground you securely. The Lord will strengthen you this year, 2022. He will settle you. The Lord will settle you, and I love that part. It's our year of settlement. The Lord will settle you. Everything that is due, that is meant to come to you, will come to you speedily in the name of Jesus. God bless you, and thank you for watching this video. See you next episode.